I see it. Oh, there it is. <gasps> oh. Striped shore crab. Definitely a striped shore crab. Uh. And look at that sunset. Oh, wow. There is something magical about a sunset over the ocean, isn't there? It's not magic, Grandma. It's a scientific phenomenon called light scattering. I know you're my little science genius, but I promise you that magic is is everywhere, and it's very real. But how can you prove it? I can't prove it. That's what makes it magic. Take my engagement ring. That is a golden pearl from the South Sea. From a golden-lipped oyster. One of the rarest gems in the ocean. Your grandfather found it when he was in service in the Philippines. Wow. Can I try it on again? Mm -hmm. That's the symbol of love between me and your grandpa. And that love brought us our family and our children and our grandchildren. If that's not magic, I don't know what is. Are we there yet? Sorry, what, Dad? Are we there yet? Dad, you're the one driving. <laughs> That's right, I forgot. I'm trying to keep you from getting blisters on your fingers. You're gonna wear those things out. I think I smell smoke coming off. Okay, look, I have a lot of loose ends that I have to wrap up before we take off, it's all. <sighs> all this wedding stuff is exhausting. Mm. The things we do for love, right? The only truly good reason to do anything Oh, hey, pull up to the left over here. Excellent choice. Ryan will take care of you at the counter. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Um, I'm just here to pick up the bands for the Strickland Watson wedding. Strickland Watson, yes. I have them right here, ready to go. How do they look? Oh, they look perfect. Oh, seems you're wearing your engagement ring on the wrong hand. Oh, uh, no. I mean, yes, no, you're right. <laughs> Sorry, it is an engagement ring. It's just, it's not my engagement ring. It's, uh, it's a keepsake from my grandma. My sister's the one getting married. I'm just her maid of honor. May I take a closer look? Uh, yeah, sure. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Such a unique band. Diamonds complimenting a South Sea pearl. I would love the opportunity to appraise it for you. Free of charge. No, this, this ring is and always will be priceless to me. <laughs> Hello, this is Kate with Dear Watson. How can I be helpful to you today? Oh, I'm sorry that you're having a sizing issue. Back later, my team thank you so much. Something that fits you perfectly. And if they can't, then we will make something that fits you perfectly. Yes, I am in fact Kate Watson. Yes, the Kate Watson. Oh, well, the pleasure is all mine. Hi. Hi, uh, are you taking customer service calls during your final fitting? But well, I don't want to be too out of touch with the customers when we get back. Right. You can send me another call. Uh, no, 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 don't, don't send her another call. No, okay, come here. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I have a little gift for our bride-to-be. All right, this right here is an official bride card issued to Kate Watson. It is valid through the end of her honeymoon, and it entitles the bear to get out of any unnecessary work duties and get her way whenever she sees fit. Mm, this could come in handy. Mm -hmm. Use it wisely. <laughs> okay, so this means that as of this moment, the boss is unplugged and off the grid. So filter any pressing issues through me, and I will handle it. This is for your own good, I promise. Fine. Hi, guys. Hey, uh, who put your fiance in the corner? What, you know I can't see me in my dress before the wedding. <laughs> well, you showed me all your designs beforehand, so I really don't see why it matters. It, it matters. matters. Okay, yeah. The coast is clear. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good night. I got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mom. Oh. Okay, so I know that we're all gonna have a fantastic time this week, but before we get everything rolling, I just wanted us all to be together when I give Addie her maid of honor gift. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Now, you're already acting like my full partner in the company, but I just wanted to make it official. 
in writing. Full partners, 50-50, till the wheels come off. Isn't it wonderful? Well, if it isn't wonderful, I don't know what is. I just, I wasn't expecting this. I, wow. <laughs> I'm so grateful. I just wanted to show you how much I appreciate you. I know that you do, but this is, I mean, this is too much, Kate. You deserve it. You're the glue for the family, for the company, for the wedding. <laughs> we all lean on you for support. Come on in here. <laughs> okay, so you look, look over the contract when you have time and we'll dot the I's and cross the T's when we get back. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so pretty. Strickland Watson wedding. I'm Addie Watson. I think you have four reservations under my name? Yes, indeed. Great. I have four rooms, including the bridal suite. Yes, that is correct. Uh, we're the first wave of people, so more should be checking in later tonight or tomorrow. We will be ready and waiting to greet them. I'm going to sleep off the jet lag and uh, wake me up for the welcome party thingy. Don't worry, I'll have them back in time. I'll make sure that your bags get to your rooms, but before I do, I would like to introduce you to our concierge and event coordinator, Hannah. Oh, thank you, Angie. I'm here to help you with everything and anything you might need to make your stay with us more enjoyable. No request is too big or too small, as long as it's nothing too weird. How weird is too weird? Weird is a relative term, especially when describing one of your relatives, perhaps. Rest assured, it's my job to manage the weird and make sure your event all goes smoothly. Now that you've got boots on the ground, I'd like to take you for a quick tour of the resort. If you'll kindly follow me, this is our dolphin habitat. Our dolphins get expert care from the amazing Dolphin Quest staff. To the left is the pool. It's open 24 hours a day, and our beach cafe has a frozen coconut mojito that's to die for. I will be there. Right, right. <laughs> Scooch on over here, and this wow. is where the magic will happen. This is fantastic. And it seems the weather will be on our side for your entire stay. That is great news. I said it seems that way, but we are in Hawaii, so no promises. You actually signed a weather waiver in your contract that clears us of liability in the case of inclement weather. What did we sign? Hey, it's fine. It's fine, right? If we have rain, we'll have rainbows. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Now, what do you say? We iron the details out with your fully capable maid of honor and let you and your betrothed enjoy the rest of the day. Have fun. Thanks. <gasps> All right, let's get to it. OK. Hey, uh, this is Addie Watson. I'm just calling to get some more general information about enrolling in your summer program. Yeah, I, you know, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm gonna have to call you right back. Okay, thank you. Hello! Hi, Hi. Hi. Did you just get in? Oh, straight from the airport to your door. Yeah, it's too early for me to check in. Can I change here? I wanna make it to paddleboard yoga. Oh, yeah, of course. Are you not going? Um. No, no, I'm not. Something actually just came up that I have to deal with. Huh. Kara, ah, Kate, <laughs> Becky. Oh, I am so glad you can make. It. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what do you mean you're not going to yoga? Mm -hmm. I just came in here to get you. Something just came up, so just go without me, you guys. It's fine. What came up? Bridesmaids things? 
Well, I want you to be able to enjoy yourself on this trip. Maybe Kara can take something off your plate. Mm. Put me in, coach. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I will go. You will love it. You will feel so energized afterwards. Chaturanga, upward dog. Everyone, arms up, inhale. Exhale, swan dive down. Forward fold. Arms up, halfway up. Love and light. Let go of any anxiety with this final flow. Thank you for letting me instruct you on this beautiful morning. Namaste. <laughs> that was just what I needed. How is it for you, Ed? Oh, yeah, so relaxing, not stressful at all. <laughs> What's wrong? My my ring. I I, lo I lost my ring. I, I I lost my ring. Are you sure you didn't leave it back at the hotel? No no no. I never take off my ring. I don't. <laughs> Hold on. Take a breath. Mm -hmm. Let it out. It's gonna be fine. We'll help you find it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey no. no it's really deep out there. We need help. Hannah. Yeah. yeah. We'll ask Hannah. Maybe she'll some ideas. Great idea. Come on. Uh, come on. Right through those double doors. Okay, hey, you're welcome. Have a great day. How did you enjoy the yoga session? Yoga was great. Um, unfortunately, Addie lost her ring in the bay. Yeah. It's an incredibly important family heirloom. I'm terribly sorry to hear that. Fortunately, our dive instructor might be able to help. Okay. He has a high recovery rate. Okay. Oh, great. Uh, that sounds great. Where can I find him? Shoot. Uh, shoot? Why, why shoot? Today is his day off. He will be back with us tomorrow. Hannah, look, this, this ring is incredibly important to me. Is there any way that we could, like, get him on the phone or mm -hmm. something? Jack is extremely off-grid. He doesn't have a cell phone. <sighs> but even if he did, he probably wouldn't answer it. Uh, okay, I don't Maybe you could tell me where I could find him. I, uh, like, please, I, I will make it worth his while. I promise. I just, I don't want to waste another second on this, please. I'm never going to hear the end of this, but... Jack lives on a sailboat at the marina. It's called the Gem of the Ocean. The Gem of the Ocean. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I'll get you the address of the harbor. Okay. Do you want us to go with you? No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. Um, actually, Kara, can you help me set up Kate's welcome brunch? Yeah, of course. You got it. Okay, thank you. I promise I'll be back before it even starts, okay? Here you thank go. You. You're welcome. Sorry. Right. Just go. Yeah, okay. See you in a bit. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, ahoy there. Uh, hi. Uh, are you Jack Wilder? That depends who's asking. Uh, well, that would be me. Um, I'm Addie Watson. I'm staying at the resort, actually. Um, I lost my ring in the bay this morning, and I was told that you might be able to help me get it back. If the resort, meeting Hannah, told you where to find me, she probably also told you that today's my day off. Yes. Yes, she did. Uh, but I, I really twisted her arm on that one. Well, I'll be at the dot bungalow bright and early tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Well, look, this this ring is its incredibly important to me. Like, really, really important. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it is. Uh, but the fact remains, I'll be at the dot bungalow bright and early tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Um, well, is there any way that I can get you to start the search today? I... Look, I will make it worth your while, okay? I promise you. Okay, please, please, just help me out here. Um, okay, look, you don't understand, okay? I, look, I, I really need this ring back. I did not expect that. Yeah, I surprised myself, actually. Here, put this on. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, you know how to swim. My boat, my rules. I'm responsible for your safety when you're on my boat. So, put the jacket on, please. Okay. Gosh, I'm just. Ugh, no. 
not myself today. Oh, the island can have a magical effect on people. Brings out the best in some, the worst in others. It is not magic, okay? It is desperation. Can you please just take me back to the harbor? As much as I would love to part with your company as fast as humanly possible, sadly, I cannot. We just left. It will take you like five minutes to get back. Five minutes I don't have. Grab the wheel. I'm headed to the other side of the island. I can't get caught between tides. Um, I have wedding obligations, and my family's going to be looking for me. Well, you should have thought of that before you stowed away on a boat headed in the opposite direction. Bad news is they're going to have to get by without you. Good news is, not much can happen at a wedding without the bride. Okay, uh, what makes you so sure that I'm the bride? <laughs> you fit the profile. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, and what, what's the profile? Oh, spoiled, entitled, doing what it takes to get your way. Okay, well, you know, first of all, um, I'm a maid of honor, and second of all, my sister is the bride. <laughs> Sounds like a real treat. You, you don't even know her, so just watch it. You know, I don't have to. They're all the same, and a maid of honor, excuse me, is just a bride in training. Oh, really? Okay, this is the, uh, the off-the-grid free spirit who's probably never even come close to being married. Are you trying to make me cry? Can you please just take me back to the harbor? You created this mess. It's not my problem. I'm not gonna have my day off hijacked by some overly demanding pirate bridesmaid. That's rule number <laughs> one, actually. Okay, fine. Fine. We will use this time to discuss your rates for finding my ring. Rule number two, no business talk aboard the gem. Okay, then let me at least just show you a picture of it. Rule number three, no cell phones. I'm sorry, give me my phone back. Uh, either it goes in the safe or it goes overboard. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> oh, get the wheel. Get the wheel. <sighs> this cannot be happening. You know, people pay big bucks for a private <gasps> sailboat ride by skilled naval officers such as myself. Move, please. All right, fine. How much? How much? How much what? How much is it to charter your boat? I will pay your charter fee for the rest of the day if you please, please, just take me back to the harbor. Indulge me, please. Please, for your own benefit. Just take a moment to appreciate where you are, okay? That, that island over there and the water around us, they're all living, breathing entities. This boat headed into the wind, silently picking up speed headed towards the infinite horizon. All the joys of sailing come to you in a rush, setting you free from all the troubles of the mainland. Oh, you please just take me back to the harbor. <sighs> I already told you I cannot do that. No texts, no calls. It's not like Addie to go off grid. It's too early to get worried. The girl sleeps with her phone under her pillow. Well, maybe she has bad service. Try her again, Mom. Just okay. I found her! What? Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Um, that's that's my resort. Can you um can you just can you just take me to shore? This is as close as I can get. Keep the jacket, you can safely swim from here and get back to your beloved wedding obligations. Oh, wait, so you just want me to to jump off this side of a moving boat? Why not? You had no trouble jumping on. Now or never! the hunky sailor man. Hunky sailor? Please don't ask. Honey, are you taking sailing lessons? No, I am not taking sailing lessons. He is the dive instructor who I want to talk to about helping me find my ring. How did you get onto his boat? Long story. Honey, this isn't like you. You know we've been worried. We've been trying to reach you. Yeah, my phone. Yeah, doesn't matter. I'm gonna go change. I will be back. Hunky. Okay. What do you think? How hunky is the sailor me? Mm. See for yourself. No uh, fair. 
I mean, he's okay looking. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, Nate Dog. He looks like a Kennedy. Great job today. Thanks, you too. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Oh, um, hi, sorry, excuse me. Hi, sorry, um, I recognize you. You're from, uh, you're from Bios, right? Uh, Dr. Mazur, I presume? Wow, I usually don't get recognized outside of our facility or at our facility, come to think of it. No, sorry, I'm just so excited. I recognize you from your website. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm Addie Watson. I'm staying at the hotel. I, I used to study marine biology, and uh, I was actually hoping to come tour your facility this week to get a better sense of what you guys are doing here. Sure. Well, call my assistant, and we'll be happy to set up a time for you to come in and tour the facility. Wait, really? Yep. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good morning. Trade you a life jacket for a cell phone. Gladly. I had no idea how to turn it off. Thing was squawking all night long. Made me feel better about not having one. How do people get in touch with you? They leave a message at the hotel. Well, that is wildly inefficient. Well, you found me without a problem, so from my perspective, system works just fine. Okay, look, I'm sorry if we got off on the wrong foot yesterday, but I really do need your help finding this ring. Hannah said that you were the best and that you were a very reasonable negotiator. Did you now? Yeah. Oh. Uh, hold on one second. I just have to take this. Uh, dear Watson, this is Addie speaking. Okay, Shiloh, Shiloh, what's going on? Is everything okay? Okay, just please tell me that the company is not imploding on us. Okay, hey, I'll be right back. Yep. Okay, so tell me what's happening. Okay. Good morning, Jack. Good morning. I have an updated schedule for today. Thank you. I see that Addie was able to track you down. Hey, remind me of my rule about telling guests where I live. She was so upset about her ring, I didn't want it to ruin her vacation. Yeah, better to ruin my day off. I was only trying to help. It seemed like a win-win. Help someone in need earn funds for your trip. How thoughtful of you. I say this with nothing but love. I know you've been through a lot. You can't shut the world out forever. I can try. But if there's a real emergency, still call me. Don't call Kate. OK, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, Hannah, hi. Hi. I found Jack. I see that. Good luck on your search. Thank you. So what's Dear Watson? Uh, it's my sister's company. Well, uh, our company, sort of. Cool. What do you sell? Uh, magnifying glasses, wooden pipes, cool little hats? Hmm? Elementary, dear Watson. Oh, my goodness. I don't do accents. Yeah. Normally. Yeah, nice. Uh, no, no, we, uh, we sell clothes. Yeah, but good catch on the reference. My dad is a very big Sherlock Holmes fan, and uh, it's our last name, so yeah. Nice. Yeah. Can we get this thing going? Ladies first. No, I never speak first in negotiations. Neither do I. So, what do we do now? Uh, okay, how about I start with showing you a picture of the ring? Sure. Oh, wow. Is that a golden South Sea pearl? Mm -hmm. What's it worth? Uh, I don't know, actually. It doesn't matter. Base my recovery fee off a percentage of what the item's worth. Minimum 10, maximum 30. If I find it quickly, I charge less. It's proportional to my effort. I only get paid if and when I find your ring. Okay, well, yeah, Hannah said that you had a high recovery rate. I have to have a discussion with Hannah about conversational boundaries. But, yeah. Let's try this from a different angle. What is it worth to you? Uh, it's not an easy question for me to answer. Well, it uh, belonged to my grandma. It's, uh, it's, it's completely unique. My grandpa found the pearl and he designed it himself. I, I don't know. No, I would never imagine putting an actual price on it. It would, it would just jinx it. Jinx what? <laughs> okay, this is going to sound really silly. I, I understand that. But my grandma believed that the ring would bring me good luck. She went as far as to claim that it has magical properties. Does it have magical properties? I mean... Um... Okay, the only thing that I know for sure is I love my grandma more than words, and she was a 
really, really special person in my life. So wearing her ring just guarantees that she's never far from my thoughts. Sounds like magic to me. Okay, look, what if I give you a $2,000 guarantee up front and then a $2,000 bonus when you find the ring? I say that's more than fair, yeah. All right, I just need you to be as motivated as possible. I mean, I'm only here for a few days and it would kill me to leave this island without it. That's a lot of pressure. You know I can't guarantee I'm gonna find it, right? I know, I know. I just, I need you to promise me that you're gonna try your very, very best, please. Let's walk down the shoreline. Really? Thanks. See if we can get an idea where you think you had it last. <sighs> so, I don't know. I'm thinking that I lost it somewhere in the middle. And what time was that? I don't know for sure. I didn't even realize that I lost it till we got back on the beach, but... Uh, I'm sorry. Did I hear you say you lost something? No. Yeah, I lost my ring. No, she... All good. No, she said ring, right? No, she said, uh, ain't no thing. Oh. Yeah, we're just enjoying the view, man, so. All right. Yeah. Okay, well, you guys take care. If you need my services, my name's Doug. Doug Chamberlain. Yeah. Have a good one. Uh, you too. Okay. Uh, okay, what was that all about? Why didn't you tell him he could have helped us? Trust me, he doesn't want to help you. The last thing you want is word to get out that you lost something valuable. Beachcombers like Doug are real sharks. They smell a little blood in the water, and they swarm. Oh. Jeez, okay. Never thought of it like that. We just gotta be careful. Okay. There's deep water out there, plenty of reef, lots of places for your ring to hide. Yeah. With the tide rolling in and out, there's no telling which way it could have drifted. I have about a two-hour window to dive each day when I'm not obligated to the resort. Uh, well, how soon can it start? Today soon enough? <laughs> yeah, that would be perfect. All right, we got a deal? One more thing. What's that? Well, when I'm available and not in the middle of my sisterly duties, I want to dive with you. That's a deal breaker. What? Why? <laughs> I mean, I just told you how important this ring is to me. You really expect me to sit on the shore and just do nothing? I'm highly skilled. Former U.S. Navy diver. All you'll do is slow me down. I couldn't even certify you before it's time for you to get on a flight. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I am already certified. In fact, I am... A dive master. What do you need me for? You know the reef! And we're gonna cover twice as much ground together. You don't trust that I can find it on my own, do you? Okay, look. My sister encouraged me to enjoy this trip, and I really, really enjoy diving. So yeah, it might not be the most ideal situation, but I plan to take full advantage of it. You know what? It gives me the perfect excuse to get back into something that I love that I've been away from for far too long, honestly. You might have led with a dive master bit. Yeah, it's too much fun watching you get all bent out of shape. Only time I can dive today is right now. Perfect! Let's do it! The sooner the better. I set the buoys. Have you ever done a compass grid search? Uh, I understand the basics, but never done it before. All right, it can get pretty murky down there when we start moving things around. So the trick is to rely on your metal detector. Uh, so yeah, just follow my lead. Uh, you'll figure it out pretty quick. We can be as strategic as we want down there, but in the end, the only way we find it is if the ocean lets us find it. For sincere, respectful, you know, we got a shot. All right, I will uh, do my best. Let's dive.
got something? Really? Oh, come on, come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What do you think? Is that it? Look. <sighs> no. No, it's not uh, it. No, it's not it. Oh, no, 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 no. Nothing to see here, folks. No, no. that's not it. it keep moving no. on. <laughs> well, we'll try again tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. Hey, what are you going to do with that ring? Uh, hand it off to Hannah. She'll reach out to the resort guest list, see if we can find who lost it. Well, I'm sure that the owner will be thrilled to get it back. They probably thought it was lost forever. My dad taught me to dive when I was a kid. There's this unwritten code that you have to make every possible effort to find the rightful owner. A lot of these things have real meaning for them. My dad used to call them treasures of the heart. <laughs> I love that. Bring the gear up, yeah? Yeah. The uh, places you've been? Oh, places I'm uh, headed to. I've been planning a uh, sail around the world. Taking uh, a bit longer than I expected. Life happens. Wow. You know, I was going to do something like this after I finished school. Or didn't you? Never finished school. No, I uh, put my plans on hold to help my sister with her company. Hey, so uh, only time I have to dive tomorrow is uh, bright and early sunrise. If you're available. I will see you bright and early. exercise more when we get back home. Oh, gosh. Guys, look at this view. Oh, my God. This is so beautiful. <gasps> Thank you, guys. Oh, my Ooh. gosh. What a nice wow. surprise. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Hey, Annie, I'm sorry. I meant to ask you. How did the ring search go? Uh, well, we covered a lot of ground, but we came up empty-handed, so we're going to go diving again first thing in the morning. I still can't believe you're a certified dive master. Yeah, it's like a, you know, a relic from a previous life. If you could dive on your own, why do you need the hunky sailor man? Oh, yeah, that is a great question. Okay, well, first of all, his name is Jack, and he asked me the same question. He, you know, he knows the bag, and he has the recovery experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not buying it. Mm -hmm. Okay, please. It's simple math, you guys. We covered twice as much ground together. Daddy, mm -hmm. do you like this guy? Okay, if you met him, you would know that makes absolutely no sense. <gasps> well, mm -hmm. jumping off a dock onto a moving sailboat doesn't make much sense either. Mm -hmm. But everything that he does and the way that he does it just gets under my skin. No, but then again, if I'm being honest. Ah, there's a but. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, he, he said something before that made him seem remotely endearing mm -hmm. about his dad. Oh, but he lives on a sailboat. Okay, he can just pack up and vanish in a moment's notice. Nope. nope. He sounds like a romantic. Or like someone who just doesn't want to grow up. Or like someone who's willing to follow the magic. Okay, now you sound like grandma. <laughs> <laughs> follow the magic? Our grandma was a big believer in reading the signs. You know, finding the magic and meaning in everything. Aw, that's so sweet. Yeah, well, despite her best efforts, Addie here has remained a skeptic in regards to all things magical. <laughs> I like facts and logic, things that I can wrap my head around, things that just make sense. Yeah, when she turned eight, Addie refused to make a wish before blowing out the candles on her birthday cake. Okay. Tell me that's <laughs> not true. I don't believe in placing my faith in irrational superstitions. Look, I would love nothing more than to believe like Grandma, but nothing in my life has you know, led me to believe. She's no longer with us, but I think she may be getting the last laugh on this one. <laughs> hey, to Grandma. Still setting up her granddaughters from beyond the veil. Yes. I'll drink to that. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, no. Nope. Cheers. Come on. Nope. <laughs> Welcome to 
the main event, the bride and the bridesmaids versus the groom and the groomsmen in the photo scavenger hunt. Woo. What are we competing for? Bragging rights that last till death do you part. And a $100 gift card for <gasps> each team member. <laughs> there are five items on the list. Your mission is to be the first team back along with a group photo with three of the five items. Oh. Oh, we got you beat. You're going down. Oh, we'll see about that. Oh, yes, um, we will. Ready, set, go. Oh, yeah. OK, OK. Uh, strike the bell. The game will sing, and peace of mind the sound will bring. All right. OK. By light of the moon and oft by fate, make a wish by this twisted. Three, two, one, break. break. OK. OK. Kind of weird out, but I need to talk to you. Like at night time. So fit me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's, um, it's Jack, right? Uh, yes, I am. You must be the uh, bride to be. Yes, I'm Kate, Addie's sister. This is our good friend Kara. Thanks for bringing Addie in one piece yesterday. Yeah, you're welcome. So we were sent on a scavenger hunt by the resort. <laughs> do you know the island well? I do. Mm. Would you like to play tour guide? Oh no, I'm sure that Jack is far too busy to chauffeur us around the island. So, oh. as luck would have it, my uh, next dive just canceled. So technically, I'm free. Terrific. But I should probably use that time to die for Addie's ring. Yes. Yes, you should. So, I'm sorry, ladies, but Jack is technically on the clock. Yeah, technically, that's true, but um, you forgot about this. Sorry, Jack. I'm pulling the bride card on this one. Uh, looks pretty legit. Oh, it's platinum level. Yeah, you're coming with us. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What? You mm -hmm. gave it to me. Oh, yeah, no, I know. I just didn't expect you to use it against me. I am well within my bridal privileges. Cool, I know. I just feel like this is something else. I'm just trying to figure out what you're trying to do. I am trying to win a scavenger hunt. OK, all right. I will, uh, I will call us a ride. We can take my Jeep if you want. Ah, oh, even better. <laughs> yeah, uh, of course he has a Jeep. by this twisted gate. It's the moon gate, I'm telling you. Okay, guess we'll see. Oh, the boys are never gonna find this. Mm. You're welcome. Okay, here, take a picture. Oh, okay. Come on. Okay, mm -hmm. the... <laughs> Pose. Oh, yeah. All right, awesome, now let's get on to the next uh, one. Hold on, hold, hold on, we have to make a wish first. Huh? You can't pass a moon door without walking through and making a wish first. What is this, amateur hour? Oh, I'm sorry, okay. I love that. <laughs> uh, you should make a wish to find your ring. Oh, isn't that what I hired you for? I can use all the help I can get. Oh, um, Addie doesn't believe in making wishes. Mm -mm. Why not? Well, I just, you know, I think you're just setting yourself up for disappointment when they don't come true. I think you're kind of missing the point. Really? Now, what would that be? Positive energy, good vibes, karma, good old-fashioned hope. That's what a wish is all about. Without hope, you got no chance at all. Okay, Well, my parents honeymooned here, and they loved it so much, they would visit every single year. All of my favorite memories are from right here on this island. So, are you single? Kara? <laughs> <laughs> I am. May I ask why? Why does this feel like a job interview? Seriously, what's the problem? Mm -hmm. Problem? I mean... <laughs> All right, fine. To answer your question, I... I don't know. I tend to size people up very quickly, and see who they are underneath the surface. I don't like to waste my time if I know something doesn't have a chance of working out. I know exactly what you mean. Oh, well, at least you two have one thing in common. 
Strike the bell, the gong will sing, and peace of mind the sound will bring. Oh, this is a ritual I can get behind. Okay. <laughs> All right, pose. All right, smile. Okay, next clue. You're almost done, you're on the brink, so snap a pic with a spiny drink. Spiny drink? Spiny drink. Who I made mean, these? You know I know it, right? Left, 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 right, left, wanna walk through the valley with you. Step, step, step by step. Did we win? Absolutely! <laughs> yes. Mainly because the groomsmen gave up and decided to go play golf. Ugh, oh, the stinkers. Still, we had a great time with a really great tour guide. Yes, thanks, Jack. It was a lovely afternoon. Pleasure was all mine. Can I borrow you for a minute? Scheduling question. Mm. Excuse me. You should go on a date with him. No. <laughs> no. He's helping me find my ring. That is it. Okay. He got you, the most skeptical woman on the planet, to make an actual wish. It's kind of epic. It's just being a good sport. Okay, trust me, it was a lot easier than getting into a philosophical argument about irrational beliefs. Well, maybe you should start an argument. Over dinner and wine. Hey, you guys, what time would I even have to go out with him? If I'm not out searching for my ring, I am taking care of wedding duties. <gasps> the wedding? Now there's an idea. Jack. No, 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 wait, wait. Jack. No, 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 Jack, what are you doing? I'm making time. So, you know, we, we enjoyed your company so much this afternoon. I would be honored if you would be a guest at my wedding. Oh, well, you know, good luck getting Jack to attend a wedding because he hates them. Spoiled brides and blah, blah, blah. Am I right? I would be honored. Far be it for me to deny a bride's request during her wedding week. Exactly. Thank you. That would be bad luck. And it didn't even make me pull out the bride card again. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, my pleasure. Well, I guess it will be my pleasure to make sure that there is room for you at one of the already very, very packed tables. Well, I'll be fine at the misfit table. Every wedding's got one, and to be honest, that's where I fit in best, so... See you in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! Acting like we were back in high school! Stop it! The fact that you're trying so hard not to like this guy only confirms that you really like this guy. From what I can tell, he likes you, too. Jack can be many things, but I've known him long enough to know he's a really good guy. But you didn't hear that from me. Also, your great uncle Newt called from Florida. His cat, Mr. Coconut, isn't feeling well. So there will be plenty of room at the misfit table. His words. See? <laughs> Come on, Hannah's all the details covered. Hey, I've got one day left until the wedding. Why not make it count? Hasn't found your ring yet. <laughs> no, for the uh, the grilling that Kate and Kara gave you. Uh, it's only fair that I get to return the grilling. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Mm -hmm. All right. This should be fun. Why are you single? Oh, wow, that really is the worst. Okay. <laughs> hey, what makes you so sure that I am? I don't know. What is that? Look, if you're not comfortable, you don't have to answer it. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Uh, okay. Um, no, a couple years ago, I, uh, I went through a really, what at the time felt like an earth-shattering breakup. Um, I thought I met the man I was gonna marry, and he did want to get married. Just, not to me. Hey, definitely his loss. Well, to make me feel better, my, uh, my grandma gave me her ring. She said it would bring me nothing but good luck. So after that, I told myself that I would never let anyone be careless with my heart again. 
And I don't know, ever since then, I just feel like I haven't met anybody who's made me feel the way that I want to feel, or at least the way that I think you should feel to take things to the next level. I think we're all just hoping to find someone we're comfortable enough to be ourselves around. You're pretty easy to talk to. <laughs> yeah, I try to be a good listener. <laughs> For the record, if you don't want me at your sister's wedding, I won't go. Oh, hey, no, that deal was made exclusively between you and the bride-to-be. I have absolutely no say or stake in the matter, frankly. I don't care. Now that that's settled. <laughs> we covered a lot of ground today. Feel like we're getting closer. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we're, uh, we're getting closer, too. Well, uh, yeah, I better get going. I have some errands to run and a lunch date to get to. Oh, really? Like a, like a date date? See you tomorrow. Watson, Dr. Mazur told me to call this number to set up a tour of your facility. Yeah, um, the thing is I'm only on the island for a couple of days. Really? This afternoon? Yeah, no, I, I can do that. I could definitely make that work. That's perfect, thank you so much. Okay, bye. I didn't expect the head of the program to act as my personal tour guide. <laughs> I'm always eager to chat with anyone who shows interest in our work. You know, I read the study that you published on the sea urchin cancer research, and I thought it was fantastic. Oh, you did your homework. Oh, my goodness. I desperately want to go back to working in the water. You know, the quickest way for you to get back into it is through our summer program. What area are you most interested in? Well, I interned with the Marine Animal Rescue Team when I was back in school, and it was the oh, best job I've ever had. Although it never really felt like a job, to be honest with you. That's the real dream, right? Do what you love, and you'll never work a day in your life. Some wise words. It's feeding time. Would you like to join some of our local residents for lunch? What? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would love to. Okay, right, let's get you suited up. Wait, really? Yeah, you're certified, and Jack will keep you safe in there. Jack. <laughs> of course you know Jack. Hi. <laughs> Was it a wedding thing? No, no, it's just a, it's just a me thing, actually. Kate wanted me to make some time for myself while I was out here. Actually, I was studying marine biology when I left school. And lately, I don't know, I've been thinking about getting back into it. Yeah, this is the first piece I've had to reconnect with this world. Well, let this be a splash course to get you back in the game. Oh. Oh, man, that sounded way better in my head. <laughs> um, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah, I can eat. Mahalo. Oh, very good. Thank you very much. Mahalo. <laughs> so this is the best pulled pork on the island. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I've been to every barbecue joint on the island. That's impressive. It is. Okay, so if that's the best pulled pork, that means that this has got to be the best mac salad, right? Oh, hands down. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Whew. Okay. Well, I'm excited for you. Are you ready? Okay. 
Yeah. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh. All right. Isn't that incredible? That's so good. <laughs> Can we come here every day? Every day. Isn't that amazing? Mm hmm. The best. Okay. So I might just. Get take... in there. All right. Best in the world, right? <laughs> hey, so how serious are you about joining the summer program at the aquarium? Well, if it's up to me, I'd say 100%. Who else is it up to exactly? I mean, there's a lot of factors. You know, there's uh, the company, my family. And not to mention my own head and heart, which are very much at odds at the moment. Huh. Yeah. What's your biggest concern? Well, everyone kind of depends on me for everything. So I'm just worried if I go to do my own thing that it would leave Kate in a tough spot. And I'm just not sure that Dear Watson could totally function without me. I thought you said it was your sister's company. Yeah, it is. Well, I mean, was. Um, Okay, so shortly after she started her business, she got a really big order for her designs for a huge retailer, and it was her big break. She needed some help, so I postponed school, and my parents invested a big chunk in the seed money, and I used my tuition to cover the rest. Wow, it's a pretty selfless thing to do. I mean, it was her big break. You know, I wanted to do whatever I could to help. I mean, she's such a talented designer. And uh, yeah, now the company's really taking off <laughs> and she wants me to be 50-50 partners with her. That's amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that isn't your dream, is it? I don't really know anymore. I'm really proud of, of what we've built. And uh, I obviously love working with my family, right? But. It's just the thought of going back to school really excites me. <laughs> it makes me really happy. But I don't, I don't know. I just don't know if I could start all over. I think you got to ask yourself what's worse, starting over or giving up. You know what? I have an idea. What are we doing here? All right, we got to find you a replacement ring until we find yours. Don't want you to wear out your finger. <clears throat> Don't even realize I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. <sighs> okay. This is made of black coral, which is the official state gemstone of Hawaii. It's not going to hold the same sentimental value, but the Honu is known to bring good luck. Sea turtles were believed to have led the original Polynesians to this island. So maybe it'll help us find what we're looking for. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh, rehearsal, I, I gotta go. I gotta go back to the resort. Yeah, yeah, I should probably try to get another dive in while there's still light. Can I give you a ride? Uh, well, that depends. I'm listening. If I can drive your Jeep. <laughs> All right. You burn the clutch out, I'm putting on your bill. Oh, worth every penny. Yeah. Tossed out of heaven. Out on the road. I don't know where we're going. But we've been coming undone for quite some time. No, don't you give me the music time. starts playing and we're no walking. The father of the bride takes the gorgeous bride down here. We stop, we trade places, and now you're the officiant. Look at that, beautiful. You greet everybody with welcome remarks, and then we start the vows. So then the father of the bride says the vows, and then you read your personal vows to each other. You ask for the rings, best man hands over the rings. We do the rings. Did you find your ring? Uh, no. No, this is a temporary replacement ring. Gift from Jack. Who's Jack? The hunky sailor man, remember? 
So how's the made up honor speech coming? Uh, got it covered. I ever tell you the story of how I met your dad? Only about a million times. <laughs> but I will never turn down hearing it again. Well, I was out for some drinks with some girlfriends, and your dad was bartending to put himself through college. He told me he could see the future. Do you remember what you said? I think it went a little something like this. From the moment we first met, I knew my life will never be as good as it can be if you're not in it. I know what's ahead of us, the ups, the downs, but no matter what, we will get through it because we'll be together. We will make the life we both want, the life we both imagine. And I believed him. Lucky for me, it all came true. You don't have to read it now, but um, I had the PR team draft an announcement regarding our upcoming partnership before we left. Um, I just wanted everyone to weigh in on it. There's no rush, though. Look at it when you look at it. But I am excited for the world to know that we're in this together. We're thick and thin. Here's to that. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Are you ready? <laughs> Ahoy there! <laughs> I was just gonna write you a note. Yeah, what was the note gonna say? Uh, just that I won't be able to uh, go diving with you tomorrow morning. It's wedding day, so I gotta stick by Kate's side. You know, give her the royal treatment. Just didn't want you wasting any time waiting around for me, that's all. Uh, nothing else on your mind? Uh, what makes you ask that? Oh, you came all the way out here when you could have left a message with Hannah. Huh. I don't know. I guess I'm just getting a little nervous that we're not going to find my ring before I have to leave. Don't leave. I wish it were that simple. Right. The whole uh, business thing with your sister, the 50-50 partnership. Mm -hmm. no, it's a big deal. You come any closer to making a decision? Uh, no. No. <laughs> but they're about to do a press release to tell the world that I have. Everyone's just so thrilled. I should be thrilled. I, I mean, turning down such an amazing opportunity, that would be just, that would be crazy. Wouldn't it? What are you more concerned with? What your family wants or what you want? I don't want to upset them. And what about upsetting yourself? You don't want to become a supporting player in your own life story, right? You want to be the, you know, the leading lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gosh, you are, you are insufferably insightful. Yeah, huh? I know. Doesn't make it any easier, though. I know. All right, well, uh, I'll see you at the wedding. Uh, hey, um, you want to go on a night sail? Is that a, is that a thing? One of my favorite things. Are you gonna make me wear a life jacket again? Absolutely. Wait, don't you need to be steering the boat? You remember that large piece of metal I threw into the ocean? It's called an anchor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then, can I take this off now, please? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. It's looking red, though. Ah, <sighs> oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, 
girl could get used to this. I knew you'd come around. No, you didn't. That's true. <laughs> but I hoped you would. So, how close are you to having enough money saved for your big trip around the world? Close. And once I find this elusive ring of yours, the recovery fee should put me over the top. Well, that makes me really happy. For you and my right ring finger, of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's funny. You know, I've been saving up for this trip for so long, I just kind of seemed like it would never happen. And now that it's within reach, that it's a, it's a real possibility, my emotions are just kind of all over the place. Well, why do you think you have so many emotions tied into this trip? After my mom died, uh, my dad and I planned on sailing around the world together. But before we got around to it, he got sick. Made me promise that I would make the trip after he was gone. He refused to let me sell the gem, even the help with the medical bills. I think he knew this old boat would keep him around even after he was gone. Thank you for sharing that with me. I know that's not easy. People come and go so much on this island. I think that's why I choose not to get close to anyone. It's just easier to be alone, you know? But I wasn't expecting this. This is the last thing that I was expecting to find on this island. At least we're on the same page. Thank you, thank you. You're very talented. Comes in handy when the karaoke machine goes down. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Uh, I went night sailing with Jack. Say no more. Oh no. No. <laughs> this is his move, isn't it? Night sailing? Really? <laughs> what a line. Addy. I've known Jack for years, long enough to consider him a friend, and in all that time, I have never known him to take a guest out sailing, unless it was paid charter. Do yourself a favor and don't overthink this one. You've got a big day tomorrow, just get a good night's sleep, okay? Yeah, no, I'll try. Thank you for everything. It's my absolute pleasure. for the ceremony. Everything is set. We'll start when you give the word. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> oh. How you feeling? Perfect. Yeah, completely at peace. Everything came together so seamlessly. Thanks for always being by my side. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> you marry me. Okay. <laughs> We are gathered here today to join Kate and Nathan in holy matrimony. My dear mother, your loving grandmother, Helen, believed in magic. You are the most incredible woman I've ever met. I choose you today and every day for the rest of my life. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. so busy taking care of everybody else, I figured it was my turn to take care of you. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. How beautiful was that ceremony? Every bit of it. Hey, how was this morning? We're getting closer. We know where it isn't, right? And uh, there's not much more ground to cover, so I mean, at least we're, we're narrowing it down. I won't stop until it's back on this finger. Ooh, wow. Well, that was a move. I thought so. Gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? It's time for the maid of honor and best man speeches. Not in bed. No pressure. Thank you. Aloha, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Addie. I am Kate's little sister. First off, I just want to say thank you so much for making the effort and spending this very special day with Kate and Nathan. When I look around, and I see the love on Kate and Nathan's face and the love here. It almost feels like magic. I know what you're thinking. I am known as a skeptic when it comes to believing in anything that you cannot see with your eyes or touch with your hands. But I mean, what these two have is just it's undeniable. It is enough to turn even the hardest of hearts into a believer. Okay, so I would like to make a toast to not only the bride and groom, but to the long line of believers out there. You all have helped me believe in magic. So, cheers to Kate and Nathan. We love you guys. Your speech destroyed the best man's, by the way. It's just no contest. Well, I mean, he did bring up an ex-girlfriend, so instant disqualification. Total rookie move. Rookie <laughs> You enjoying yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm having an amazing time. Good. I'm glad. Not just tonight. The whole week. Good. So have I. You know, I can't believe I have to leave tomorrow. I know. Uh, that's why I got you a little um, going away present. Technically, I got it for me, but I think you'll understand. In this case, it truly is the thought that counts. Yeah, haven't quite figured out how it works. Smartphone might be smarter than me. Um, just to uh, clarify this, you're the only person I'm trusting the number to. Okay. I'm so flattered. Um, well, okay, um, turn in your Bluetooth and I will airdrop you my contact. 
I'm s- what? <laughs> Give it to me. I will yeah. just do it the old-fashioned way. Right. Daddy. Stay in touch, okay? I want a picture at every port that you stop at. All right, deal. And, uh, you gotta let me know what you decide to do with your sister and the company. Yeah. For what it's worth, really hope you decide to do what you think is best for you. And I know you're leaving tomorrow, <clears throat> but I wanted to tell you that I, I'm gonna find that ring of yours. You know, I mean, well, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna stop looking for it, even after you go. Don't lose hope. And if there's any magic left in that ring, I know it's gonna turn up. Well, I hope you're right. Well, I should get going. Yeah. Gotta get some sleep. Got an early dive in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. No, I should probably get back to my family. <laughs> Actually, uh, let me finish that dance. You know, I thought you'd never ask. When I look up in the sky, I see tiny little stars dancing. <laughs> Jackpot. Is this Addie's ring? 100%, without a doubt, that is it. Where'd you find it? Oh, I went out for a midnight hunt last night, as I want to do, and I found this baby on the beach under about, I don't know, three inches of sand. 
Tide must have brought it in. Jeez. Yeah, I figure a guest lost it. I'd like to do the right thing, get it back to the owner if I can. That's fantastic. She's going to be thrilled. Yeah, yeah, well, I said I would like to do the right thing. I just want to make sure that all of our interests are aligned, you know, if you know what I mean. Don't, actually. Uh, okay, well, I'll just be a little more direct. Um, I had it appraised. I was shocked to find out how much it's worth. <laughs> and uh, I figured we can come to some kind of arrangement on a finder's fee. What kind of finder's fee? Uh, well, it um, depends. You know, I feel like I should be talking to the owner. They left for the airport about an hour ago. I'll, I'll give her a call. Oh, it's going straight to voicemail. She might already be on the plane. What about Kate? Can you call her? Addy was my only point of contact. I'll try one more time. She, hey, wh whatever. Look, give her my phone number. Tell her to call me whenever she gets a chance. Uh, hold, hold, hold on a second. I, I don't think you understand. I need to get that ring to her. I, I think I'd rather wait to see what she wants. Well, I, how much do you want? I don't want to sound uncouth here, but you know, according to Sunny, I mean, this is what it's worth. That there is on the low end. Is this real? Yeah, look, I'm not looking to take advantage of anybody, but I think maybe if we come up with this right here, that'll help loosen the grip. Are you kidding? That's extortion. Hey, Sonny offered me a lot more than that. If anything, I'm the hero here. I'll get you the money. Terrific. <laughs> OK. When and where? My boat at the harbor, gem of the ocean. I'll pay in cash. Even better. <laughs> Are you kidding? Excuse me, can we have a minute, please? Yeah, you guys. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'll just pop over here while well, you guys just figure that out. What do you think you're doing? You know exactly what I'm doing. Maybe we can call the police. They might be able to help. It's too messy. The second we call, he's gonna be gone for good. Hey, trust me, we gotta take care of this right now. What about your trip? Doesn't matter. It's the right thing to do. It's happening? Yeah. It's happening. Okay, bye-bye. Woo! All right. Want to talk about it? Um, I, I don't know. I guess I just am feeling a little lost lately. Addie, no, I'm serious. I mean, you've always known what you've wanted, and you've just gone for it. Right? With work, with your education, with Nathan. I mean, look how successful you are. Thank you. You know, I couldn't do any of that without you. If you're feeling unsure about what's ahead, you lean into the people you love. Hmm? Talk it out. And when the universe sends you a sign, you gotta be brave enough to follow it. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, um, can you turn left here? truly love. I gotta get back in the water. So I'm gonna stay on the island and figure some things out. Hey, I don't regret one minute of what we did together. Okay, I am, I am so proud of everything that we built. And I am so, so excited to watch your dream grow. But you're right, Kate. I gotta go after mine. The door is and always will be open. Okay? Okay. And you'll always be welcome back with open arms. I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I love you guys. Go get your flight, okay? Don't be late. <laughs> There's room in the program. I'm so excited to start. From what I see on your resume, it seems like you're a perfect fit. So congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I thought about getting one of these. It's uh, just a lot smarter to rent, you know? Smarter to rent. Yeah, 
little bit more of a lamb liver myself. If I get the peel, you'll open sea, set the sail. You mind if we uh, cut the chit chat? Nope. I'll tell you right now if we can. <laughs> Take a look. It's all there. Looks good. Everything is in order. It is a pleasure to do business with you, sir. I'm going to show you the pleasure zone. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Please leave a message at the tone. Howdy. Hello. Uh, it's Jack. Uh, I hope I'm doing this right. You're probably a million miles up in the sky right now, but I... I have some very important news to tell you. Uh, the, I think you're calling me? Yeah, I think you're calling me. Uh, hello, Addy? Uh, wait, you missed me already? Oh, hey, where are you? I thought you were supposed to be on a plane. Yeah, I, uh, I was supposed to be, but plans changed. I, uh, I couldn't leave. I had too much unfinished business here. And I also couldn't leave knowing that I'd left something so important behind. Yeah, I think I can help you with that. Yeah, you know, I uh, certainly hope so. <laughs> Permission to come aboard? You even have to ask? Oh, hasn't really stopped me before. You up for sale? Always. Okay. Oh. oh my god. I can't believe I got it back. Uh, it wasn't me. It was the island. And the beach gomer. Well, the magic of the ring brought it to me. Oh. <laughs> okay. trip and your savings, I just... I can't believe you did all that for me. My trip can wait. Plus, the look on your face when I put it back on was worth every penny. Well, hey, I was thinking, if your trip can wait until after my summer program is over, maybe I could join you. I would love that. Um, unfortunately, it's gonna take me a bit longer than three months to earn that money back. Okay, well, I, I could help. And, you know, maybe we could get sponsored by some cool and upcoming clothing brand. Have you ever heard of Dear Watson? Yeah, they're really cool. You have connections in that world? A few. Okay. So you got your ring back. You're going to be studying what you love, and you're planning a sailing trip around the world. With an incredibly handsome man, I might add. Debatable, but I'll take it. <laughs> the point is... The wind seems to really be blowing in your direction. Yeah. And after all that, was your grandma right? Now, do you believe in the magic of this ring? Does that answer your question? Loud and clear. <laughs> I thought time would be on my side.